Mr. Murchison, I wonder yeah. if you could uh, just briefly tell us a little bit of the history of the Westerson Cabin. Yeah. Okay, it was built in 1927, built by Robert Butler, was the guy's name. He built for Bob Hogarth. That's, that's uh, Harvey, the old Harvey's dad. And he built it there, and he ran a business that was a service station. It was a little of everything. So where was it? So where was it? Yeah. Okay, you know where the across from the Sorgut place is? That was by the A1 oh, across there? from the A1. Yes, okay. Yep. Where the A1 used to be? Well, it was yes. set right back in there. Oh, and uh, then old Bob Hogarth sold it to Ed and Annie Ravy. Mm -hmm. And then my dad bought it from Ed and Annie in 1942. I think it was for five hundred dollars. I think it was. I think I still got the bill of sale. And uh, they came here in '42, and uh, and he worked for Graham Broach at the old Texaco, and then that's where uh, Graham and Molly they lived in the back of the of the which we call it. And uh, the kids, well, well, we were all we were all grew up together, and there were not too many people. We were the last one on the on there on the west, then, the on the west side, and then there was. Dawson, and then it was you for Bud, and then you, and then Thompson, and then me. Phipps is across. Phipps is across, and, and Broaches. So we're like sort of where the 1A drive-in around? The A1 drive-in, uh, we used to own that. Oh. And my other folks did. Oh. And, uh, but that was the farthest west, sort of? Yeah, we went, like our, our property went right from like Eddie Rose there, or the, the, where you go up to the Claxon, the, the, up the hill of Cooley. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When ours started there, went all the way to the end down there, and it went down to the, the railroad tracks, like where the old 1A highway used to go. Mm -hmm. That was not even supposed to be a road. Mm -hmm. That was supposed to go down low, but it just cut through. And then the government used to rent it, so we made a deal with the government just to, you know, to make the deal they had their trailer on it, and we had the road, but when it comes time to, you gotta have the right to be able to not shake a hand anymore. Mm -hmm. and, and, but it was, uh, like it, like that was the original part. Like we had, like on the, there was a, the porch, like you see on the front. But we had a, a, a kitchen built on the back. When we moved in there, we built one, and the well was inside. There was a piece on it, and I bet the well there was in town, and they filled it in with good water. You couldn't even pump it dry. And anyways, it was, and but the guy that. It, it went through a few people, but it was uh, like there was no gas or nothing. No, it was cold as wood. <laughs> and I mean, we used to go to the ghost dam to get firewood. We get on the drift wood, we go cut it, and we always got cold. We just go up to the Ozeta up there in Morley, and where the they call it out of the Barrier Dam there, up there in the hills, they haul the coal down, and so that's where we got the coal. And he used to. Did what you could, and there was only—I mean, there was only what 350 people in this town, Ford, at one time. All Wooden the sidewalks, eight streetlights in the whole town. <laughs> All the land where the highway goes through now, from A1, where it used to be, to Fourth Avenue, that was almost <coughs> all open lot, except for our old house down under the hills, and yeah. then almost Main Street. There were a couple of houses. Chester's your sister and, and your granddad's. Yeah. That was a huge big empty lot that we used to play in. But that your uh, mm -hmm. Chuck like your granddad house. He didn't own that. He always rented it off old Sid Chester. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He owned old John and your mom or grand, grandma, Nancy. Well they never did own that place. He always rented it off of Sid Chester. And Sid Chester, well, you know, he was behind that grass. And he owned that house and then a couple more, but and it was uh God there is and the Milligan house, they tore it down. Huge, big house, wasn't it? It was a Simpson Three house. Three story. Too bad, but. And they tore a lot of houses down. That should never have been tore down. That's where the Texas, or the, uh, not Texas Street, but the Ducks and the Root is. Yeah. Oh, there. And then, yeah, yeah. And then there were like, there Marshall and Nellie Baptist, then Milligan. Uh -huh. And then there was... Uh, a lot of the also Chester's. Chester's, they had two places, yeah. Along the way. And then that Doc Brody, there, the, the Mrs. Brody. They had where the, uh, the British, uh, Thomas Boys, is now. yeah, Off Towers, or whatever. Mm -hmm. So the country's changed a lot of the place. It's, everything's gone. And they talk about 
history. Well, they tore down a lot of that history. And they, they've taken a lot of it, they took and tore it down, and which is too bad, you know? Well, we know we have a little book that you might have seen under the big hill, which mm -hmm. has 50 places in it with the description. Yeah. I think we've whittled it down to about half now. It oh, yeah, exists. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it, are, you know, yeah. I've got that, I've got the reason about uh, the, in the, when we talked that night about the cook company. Oh, yeah. The reason about Ted Cook went on the ranch where Joe was out of the ranch. Well, they had that land out there, two of these. And they worked up there. They had that place. They sold that. Bought a place here, and then they moved up to Horse Creek. And it's quite a quite a story, you know. You get reading all these old people, mm -hmm. these folks that were around, and there are not too many of them left. That's the trouble. Mm -hmm. We're the next one. Mm -hmm. Next generation.